Sup everyone, it's Chris from Outer Space Reviews here with another review cosplay episode. We're reviewing something from Bondi's complete selection modification line. It's not this, and it's not this. What is it? Let's find out in today's episode. Sure. So if you're new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. In the comments below, what's your favorite Kamen Rider? Is it Decade? 2009, the series Kamen Rider Decade came out. We eventually got a complete selection modification Decca driver. We got the complete selection modification DN driver. But at that time, back in 2013, we did not receive a ride booker that complements this piece. It was weird. You had to buy from 2009, the DX ride booker. So this item was worth over $100 American because people wanted it to complement this piece. But then in 2021, they announced the complete selection modification Decker driver version two. And to go with it on the side, right here, a complete selection modification ride booker. So it finally happened. And that's what we're reviewing in today's episode. Oh. <sighs> Mm. On the front, it's the ride booker in sword mode. On the back, it's the ride booker in gun mode. Wow. This item was released around end of May, start of June, depending on when you pre-ordered. Um, there is a second wave coming out, that's how popular it is. And it hasn't uh, been released in uh, North America yet, but we got a hands on one. Let's open it up. Here's all the items you receive in a pristine version. A lot of the CSM items I get are secondhand. It's like um, when you get your lunch from your parents and it's all wrapped up, or like in the tuck shop. So you receive the ride booker. So tiny. Kind of expected it to be bigger, but it has a good weight to it. You receive the ride booker belt attachment. This is upside down. There we go. So you would clip that. Meh. You also get the nozzle. The nozzle is calibrating. Do not move while calibrating the nozzle. You receive this piece. Now what is it? It's a little black box. Use it to extend the range of the ride booker when it's in gun and sword mode. And you receive this clip. It's for sword mode of the ride booker, so the handle is held in place instead of it flicking back and forward. It keeps it solid. I'll show you that in a moment. And the last piece, the blade of this sword. Coolies. Now the ride booker takes some batteries. It takes two AAA batteries. Get your screwdriver or stylus piece. Do I have to take this? Off? Oh, that's interesting. You got to take the bottom piece off first. There we go. Bit weird. Hey there. When you turn it on, it makes the sounds. So you know it's on. It's so small. I expected it to be about this big. I was hoping they weren't going to use the DX uh, ride book and mold, and they were going to make a brand new one. But I can see here this is a kid-sized item. So, oh well. So compared to the DX one, it took me a while to actually open this. Got a little clip here that you have to push in and then it opens instead of just whoop. Did air. Now, recommendation um, as per Bandai and the instructions, you can best fit up to four cards here and six in this section. Too many cards inside the uh, ride booker, you'll damage the cards and also damage the uh, item itself. We'll go decayed, final attack, slash, and blast because that's what we'll need. And we'll pop the other ones in here. So we'll do that first. So six on this side, we got four and four in the main. Just open the lip, place them in, and close as such. So they do fit uh, DX size cards. The CSM cards are DX also. So you cannot fit the Kamen Rider Decayed Archive Neo cards from this episode up here. The little button to activate the sounds is just up over here. So when you pull the card out, Make the sound. No sounds are made when you pull cards from out here. Buttons. We got the main button here to change the mode. It has the green button up here. Before it was just molded in and did nothing. But for this CSM version, they've turned it into a sound button. So when you press it, it's for when you pull out the card and you go. So that's cool that they've done that. Because it doesn't have those sounds on the complete selection modification Decca driver version one and two. So they implemented it here. You can also hold said button. That's the sound of when a blank card turns into a Kamen Rider card. So that was the sound in the TV show about a blank card turning into the Cougar card. 
So in total it has seven different sound clips from the show. Six of them are when the cards change from a blank into a Kamen Rider card. And the seventh one is a world skip. So that's what happens when you hold the button. So let's attach our ride booker to our belt with the clip. Beep, boop, slide it in. Boop, boop. Wow. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So this ride book holder clip fortified compared to the little DX one that we got previously. It was like, like a thin piece of plastic. We'll show you in a moment. The clip's been given enough space um, that it can rest on the belt on a display dizer. So that's really cool that they went that extra step. Ta-da. Mine's a bit loose, but that's because I put it on loosely. Don't judge me. <laughs> now let's check out the other two modes, starting with gun mode. Push the mode change button. Now we have to turn it into a gun. So we take off this piece, replace. Then we take off this nozzle. It's pretty easy to remove. Pretty easy to remove, can't remove it. And there we go, we've converted into a gun. That's really cool. Now let's change it into sword mode. So we take off this, we boopity boop, keep this piece on, switch to sword. Ching. Now we'll start with the clip. This clip prevents this button from being pressed. So when you have your sword, it doesn't go Whoa. You got all those sounds. And there we go. It's clipped on, so it prevents it from flipping around. Now this next piece is really interesting. I was just having a quick play with it. You can't actually pull this sword out like with the DX version. Instead, the sword part is the button to remove it. That's cool. It's like, let's just get rid of, let's get rid of redundant things and just go for it. Now if I can only remove it. There we go. Now to make the sword. Oh, just slide it in like meh. Wow, so cool to have a decayed sword that's this big. It is the best. So it's not to scale like with the TV show version of the Ride Booker. This would be thicker, the blade would be about that big and be about that long, but it's still pretty cool to have. Pull the trigger for Sword Slash. And then you can hold the trigger for the classic uh, Decayed Blade wipe. With the clip in place, you can't actually open your ride booker all the way. It only goes to meh. So you can still quickly pull out a card and then chuck it on the Decker driver. So yeah, that's as far as it goes. Now, before we go any further and place it back into ride booker mode, this item does have a voice mode. It is very limited, but it's really cool of Bandai to include that. Now, it doesn't matter what version of the ride booker it's in. It can be gun, sword, or ride booker mode. All you need to do is turn off. When you turn on, hold the trigger, then turn it on. So when you slash now, when you pull out a card, same as for every version, and also when you hold it. No extra voice line on the hold though. No extra voice line on that one, so. Doesn't say anything. Now let's convert it. There we go, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now when we pull the trigger. One thing I'll point out, there is not, I repeat, there is not a final attack ride sound for this. So you can't do a final attack ride slash and you can't do a final attack ride blast attack. So you just have to have the Decker driver version two and when you do a final attack, it probably plays it then. I don't know, I don't have it. But yeah, it's not in the Ride Booker. Now we'll convert back to Ride Booker and ta-da. And that's pretty much everything with this ASM Ride Booker. Now you're probably thinking, what does it look like compared to the DX version? Right here is the DX, CSM DX. You can see that the decayed symbol on the CSM is pink, while this one on the DX, they made it more like a purpley pink, it's weird. Still got the conversion buttons here. This one, removable blade. This one, beep, teeny weeny blade. Choo, 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 choo. 
that's not a knife. This is a knife. So I can see on this, it's a glossy paint job. While this one, it's more matte. That's the differences between the two in size. And this is the little plastic clip that you would pop on your plastic belt for the Decker driver. Go boop. Compared to this really thick clip right over here. This one doesn't move. When you put this one on, it does this effect where it's like that. So you got your gun on the sides. Like... They didn't want to make a rigid plastic because kids would be running around with the belt going fling, 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 because it would break easily. Flexible. But now we got a display piece item. All for cosplay. It's up to you. But yeah, highly recommend getting the CSM Ride Booker. And highly recommend getting the CSM Ride Booker now that it's got a long sword attachment. It is amazing. It is crazy cool. And the fact that you can change it to a gun mode with a bigger barrel, and it's got a little extra sounds like card changing sounds and voice lines for the attacks. So I paid around 300 Australian for it. So that's about 250 American. If you get it for cheaper than that, go for it. Now also, one thing we will compare it to, we'll compare it to the size of the Kamen Rider Saber Kain Ken Wrecker. Boom, there we go. Look at that comparison. The Kamen Rider Saber 80 centimeter sword is longer than the Ride Booker, even with the extension piece over here. But still really cool items to have. Wow. And finally, what does the Ride Booker in gun mode look like compared to the Kamen Rider D-End CSM D-End driver? Well, here's a gun here. Here's another gun here. Now we have two guns. Boop. Remember, these are both based on DX items. So if this was to scale to the show, it'd be about that big, that thick. Hasta la vista, baby. So thank you everyone for watching today's episode. Hope you learnt something about the Kamen Rider Decade CSM that has come out. Um, hope you learnt about the comparison between the two and the DN CSM. So my final thoughts on it, it's a really cool item, a massive upgrade from the DX. If you're a fan of Decade, highly recommend getting it. Sword mode, gun mode, both changed to look so much better. And it's also a really cool item to expand the playability and displayability of an already existing CSM. Now, just remember, if you've enjoyed this episode, give us a like. Let's us know that you enjoy our content. We'll catch you in the next episode.